All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with a little off the cuff video. Um, but ever since the new season came out and there's this new matchmaking system, I thought of this idea. All right, stick with me here. A little unorthodox, I know. But what I'm thinking for upcoming seasons, whatever, Ubisoft should do this get rid of newcomer. Just scratch that out real quick. And the newcomer will still be casual, just like it used to be. Then, also, what we need for ranked and unranked have to step bear. Bear. That looks like B. Verification, two-step verification for ranked and unranked, so people are messing around in games. There's no more, not as many hackers in either ranked or unranked, um, because this, with my next point, will be more of the serious play style. Um, this is where you're going to go to practice when you're serious, not to mess around with your friends and laugh and joke and all this kind of stuff. Then, with that in mind, what we do is with unranked is have clearance level 30 or maybe 40 so that you know, people in casual, they need to go through the grind of casual to learn the mechanics of the game, to learn the operators, to learn everything about the game that they need to know or should know by the time they hit an unranked match, which is the ranked playstyle with no effect on your MMR. I I like it. I like my idea because it's my idea, but of course you can let me know in the comments what you think. And then with this, also uh, with this level clearance upgrade to unranked, because honestly, I've been playing this this season, and it seems like unranked has become the new casual. I don't think anyone's playing casual anymore. I definitely hop into an unranked match to warm up for my ranked matches. And I'd rather have people that kind of have a general idea on the game rather than some people that just got off the free weekend and bought, <coughs> and bought the game at a discount to come and muddy up the waters of skill because I'm just the Zablewski. I'm the best. So, you know. I just I just need some I need some distance from casual plebs. Then at this point for ranked because we have a level clearance for unranked, we can take a level clearance of 50, maybe 60 or 75 to coincide with the 30 or 40 whatever you think would work better. And then you know, at the end of the day, I think it creates a better environment. Um, there's less hackers, more than likely, because a, a hacker, if a hacker gets caught with their two-step verified account, they create another. We already know that. They create another, and then they just hop back in to casual or unranked ma matches. Um, what I think is that we should try to limit as many people hacking in ranked and unranked and keep the, the hackers at a distance along with the lower level players so that by the time they make it to level 30 or 40 to the unranked level they're probably already getting caught you know and then unranked again will be more serious because casual is where it will be a lot easier to infiltrate and hack. Then, at that point, if you're a hacker and you had to reset and get a new account, it would take <laughs> it would take a lot of matches, a lot of matches to get to level 50 or 75 to get into ranked games to hack. And by that time, if they're playing unranked games where the two-step verification is, hopefully they can get caught out on that. By the time it gets to ranked, I think this is not a bad idea to fight off the 
shit kickers that abuse the game. So that's my idea. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I thought this would be cool to have a little discussion about it and see what you guys think. And um, now for the second part of the video, part that you guys probably came here for is the new, new uh, invisible Mira strats. So we're on canal, we're on defense, and what we're gonna do? Oops, not that. We're gonna hit space to switch to defense. And you're gonna pick the basement on the east side of the building. And we're gonna be setting up a mirror looking towards diving room. Because, or diving room and yellow stair, the bottom of yellow stair. And this mirror is basically invisible. Yeah, that's why I call it the invisible mirror strat. Um, I feel like, I, I definitely have seen this in unranked and ranked matches a ton of times. But if you don't know, it, it's just a it's a good little something to show you to get you more versed with the game. So what you come down here is you're in basement kayaks. You set up your mirror. And what I usually do with a mirror is I'll pop a hole right here to be able to throw C4s, but I'm not going to do that here. The reason is people coming either from diving room window looking th through this door Ten seconds, two all the way through this point you can't see the mirror right Five till here counting. you can't see the mirror and if you did put that that shotgun hole Not you'd be able to see it here. and then you'd have an idea that there's a mirror here along with coming down yellow stair peeking this doorway the, the the thing that you do when you're coming down yellow stair is focus your have your focus on this doorway you're not worried about this wall. Nobody's worried about this wall. Walk, they're looking into sight. And even up to this point, you're coming down the stairs, hugging the wall. You can be all the way down here and then notice the bug with the mirror. And at that point, you know, it's too late. You're you're dead. You're long gone. You are long gone. Same with the other coming through diving room, not coming downstairs. If you're if you're at that point, you're done. It's just where these bullets are landing. Right there. There. Dead. Dead. So I think what we need to learn as a community is that if we're attacking basement site, coming down yellow stair, or diving window, is that if you're if you're watching this angle, you clear this little room, this little section. And you come around and see that this isn't reinforced. Nine times out of ten, there's going to be a mirror right there. So, I mean, the only problem with this strat for Mira is that it's pretty open to to, uh, to bathroom. You don't get a good angle from bathroom. But you know, if you're if you're over here peeking, peeking, and then you come out here, you can get headshot in the back. So what I'm thinking is setting up your second mirror over here. And having a teammate sit on this to watch bathroom, put a little rotation hole right about here. You can vault through. These will be reinforced, of course. And with this mirror, you can watch bathroom. Anyone that's peeking, they still got that long angle from bathroom into kayaks. But even if you still have an angle on staircase, you have a tight, 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 tight angle that you can't really hit from all the way down to what's it called supply room corridor, which often there's not many people coming down from this way. I like to attack from this way because there aren't usually people that are coming down this way. But I'm excited for this season and seeing all the new strats that come out of the, the new canal. Um, I was already working on some stuff with Cade up in second floor site on the west side or on the east side not the west side this is on the west side on the east side the second floor site i don't remember what it's called the one that has bridge and box five seconds left having a cade in box with the tcsg 12 shooting holes through the half wall that connects the two sites and then a wall 
looking towards that uh, window and having a deep, 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 deep angle on the attackers. That would be very hard to attack again. But just stay tuned on that. Again, I will be having more Siege content coming out. I got Silver 4 this season. I got placed season, uh, Silver 4. I just got that placement. I went 4-6 and six on my placements. And uh, I was Bronze 1 last, last season. So, I mean, I'm happy with it. I got work to do. But, um, you know, last season I was playing a lot of Xbox and PC Siege. But I'm not playing Xbox Siege anymore. Never again. So I'm going to be able to focus my time onto PC ranks. But I'm excited for it. I'm going to hope. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for high gold. Um, just to kind of get my foot in the door and see see what I can do. Um, you know, I don't want to set my, my, my goals too high just so they're unreachable. But I feel like a gold, gold one, gold two would be not too hard to get. Especially now that we don't have the gold four rank. You know, it's going to be a grind. So I'm going to have a lot of content on that. I've been putting up fucking 15 round games and ranked all day. Not all day. For a couple matches. So I, I'm definitely improving. See. Level 76. So there, <coughs> there's a lot of room to grow. Um, but I hope you, you keep with me. Uh, I may have a little bit of PUBG content coming out. Um, I might play with some with, with Matt the Gym Rat, my boy from way back in the Xbox days, maybe playing a little little siege with, with Zable and Matt or PUBG with Zable and Matt. And then Modern Warfare, I was talking to my boss on Wednesday about this. He said he's played the beta, doesn't like it. The maps are too dark, the sensitivities are too low. He's on console, PS4 of course. So he said he jacked his, his sensitivities all the way up and it was still really slow. So I don't know. I may buy it on PC just because I know that PC has better graphics than console would. Which, again, I'm not sure yet. I probably will. I know I said I wasn't gonna, uh, gonna buy COD Blackout 4, but 15 minutes before it released, I bought it. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, eat a dick. I don't really care. Um, but let me know what you think about these two ideas that I got and, uh, you know, I'll see you in the next one.